intelligence. So the machine works for artificial intelligence. Mm. You have one tray that yeah. can be removed because we can also put other trays. Let's try to work with loose stones. Do you have to place in any order or? No, no. You can put them as you wish, no matter if they are on the table or on the side, if they are small, if they are large, or any Here shape. Also? This is only for removing the stones. The testing platform is this one. Okay? So the job is this. We have a camera. Okay. Now it's in live camera. You put the tray in. And so you can see exactly the picture, that the, the stones that you have set in, okay? You can adjust the focus, moving the camera up and down in order to better set the focus. Once you are ready, you just have to press start. Once you press start, the machine will do this. Start taking the pictures, and as soon as the machine identifies the stones on the platform, the machine knows that fluorescence, shortwave, transition and phosphorescence, they reconnect it to this specific position, okay? The machine artificial intelligence will start processing all the information and return the result. Ragu. So, 18 stones Ragu, Ragu. have been found, Ragu. natural 4, CVD4. Let me stop you. Please. These are natural? No, these are HPHTs. These are SPHTs? Yeah. Okay. You can read here. You can read here. The natural is the orange one. Orange one. Okay. The purple, it's the CVD. CVD. The green is the HPHT. This one is a simulant, which is uh, mosaic, glass, plastic, topaz, quartz, uh, sapphire, spinel, uh, there are many. And then there are cubic zirconia. If you want to better look, you can, you can also see here, this is the long fluorescence. So now we have long fluorescence, short fluorescence, short transition and long transition. And so you can actually check every single stone. So here I see I have no fluorescence to long wave, blue fluorescence to short wave, yellow transition, no phosphorescence. Or I can go to this one. There is no fluorescence in long wave, very orange fluorescence in short wave, and then transition and phosphorescence. Or I can go to HPHT. No fluorescence, because HPHT have no fluorescence long wave and short wave, but you can have very strong transition and phosphorescence. And all these results are reported by icons. If you, you can, if you want, you can zoom the picture and you can see better. If you want, you can remove the markers so you can see all the results of each stone. If you want, you can enlarge the picture so you can get a better view of the stone itself. So, uh, this is a uh, needs computer. This is computer? No, this is only a screen. So the computer is inside. Inside. Yeah. Okay. You don't need to buy the screen. You can buy it at your place. Okay. And then what is very fancy is that at the end of the result, the machine actually put the results underneath each, each stone. So now, if I wanted to take out only the natural, okay. I see only the natural. And so I can pick the naturals. If right. I want, I can show only the CVD. If I want, I can show only the simulants. Hmm. And so I can slowly pick all the stones out and sort them off. Oh, yeah. It has that. Correct. If I want, I can remove... Are you guys together? No. Okay. If I want, I can remove this one. Then I can use this one for the loose jewelry. Now, allow me to do it very briefly. No, no, later. So now the machine will scan only the portion that I put inside. Again, I have to go to live. I have to adjust the focus so to see this clearly. I, Amit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have a specific function which is called mounted stones. So I turn on the function and I start the job again. The machine will start taking the picture of the jewelry. And then the machine will locate every single stone in my jewelry. And then starting testing every single machine according to long fluorescence, short fluorescence, transition and phosphorescence. And then give me the results. Results again 17 seconds, 27 stones found, all of them are cubic zirconia. If I have rings or bangles that require to be rotated, I have this kind of instrument. There is a magnet here, a magnet there, I plug it in. And I can make it rotate, sorry. So does that go inside? Yes, for sure. You put your bracelet inside here. Uh, I'll put my ring inside. 
That's not the ring size. That's the ring size. But he doesn't have diamonds on this ring because he's a poor boy. Yeah, yeah. But this is not diamond, you are a poor boy. <laughs> what is a diamond? Let's check. Yeah, it's not, it's not diamond. It's easy. So you put it inside and from the software you can rotate it. So if you have stones all around, you can put multiple rings, you can you can rotate it. So what we do, we push it in, again we go to live. The focus has changed, so I have to refocus. Any place it can check? Everywhere. And now we can start the test. The machine locate the stone and then start testing fluorescence, fluorescence, transition and phosphorescence. And the result will be coming according with the icon. Yellow, cubic zirconia. Mm. Nice one.